Hi, uh, a bit of time for an update on the uh, the Care Street Victory, uh, which I've got a couple of here. Uh, we've got the the original engineering sample, and very exciting. We've now got the livery livery samples here. So let's take a look at them. So this is the production chassis for the Care Stewart Victory. Uh, just to point out a few uh, features that weren't uh, on the sample that's been shown previously. We've got a Next 18 uh, decoder socket alongside the motor here. Uh, a flywheel has been fitted. Uh, the centre axle is sprung. And on top of the gearbox, we've got a speaker, uh, which is so uh, ready for sound. Um, obviously, we're supplying them with sound as well with the uh, the custom file. So let's just see how she runs. This model hasn't been running at all. It's straight out of the box from China, pretty much. Lovely slow crawl, thanks to the gearing. And that centre sprung axle makes sure that you've got uh, maximum chance of pickup across an even rail or through frogs. Here we've got the green liveried one with uh, straw lining. And here's the red one. Black wheel sets with the uh, red coupling rods on this one. And there is a uh, lining on the back panel of the bunker. Here's the IW and D one. In, uh, in lovely silver, of course this will be grey on the production models. I'm just going to stop this one here because I'm absolutely blown away by the uh, the quality of the lining we've got. Black edged wheels with a white stripe, um, black edged chassis with a white stripe, black edged tanks, cab, bunker and everything with the white stripe and then a white black white inlaid line as well. It's absolutely superb, uh, possibly my, my favourite out of the box. And finally, the uh, the black model we saw we saw the chassis of earlier. Fantastic base for creating your own model. This particular version, perhaps you could even imagine them in painted in uh, British Rail or the Great Western liveries. Taking a closer look, we've got separately applied bars on the rear windows with a gold bezel on the windows as well. Inside the cab, we've got a fully detailed interior with uh, piping and hand, hand wheels painted in appropriate colors. Sprung, softly sprung buffers here. Now these will be blackened on the production models. Separately applied handle on the water filler and here uh, on the side of the smoke box. Uh, down here, we've got a cast in uh, cover on the cast metal sand um, footboard for the sandbox. Uh, and then we've got separately applied lamp irons. And uh, under the frame, we've got lovely end details to each axle. And then the chunky cast coupling rods and connecting rods uh, and crosshead. Uh, we're hoping to get these blackened slightly as well for the production model. Taking a look on the underside, we'll see the separately applied uh, brake rigging which just pops out if you ever need to do any maintenance. Uh, couplings have been removed from this model so that we could uh, we could take a look at how the uh, DCC decoder uh, installation is. Um, and on this particular model, uh, we've got the fully painted uh, and detailed uh, side frame. So you can see just there, you can see the uh, gray frame, black edged with a white lining band as well, uh, which is repeated on the wheels as uh, as a touch and then the numbering which uh, is present on the buffer beams as well. So hopefully that was of interest. We're Steve and I are really excited now. We're really much on the home straight. The pre-order scheme literally closes uh, this week the 9th. Uh, so get those orders in if you want to take uh, advantage of the, of the discounted pricing. Uh, take a look on planetindustrials.co.uk uh, and all the models available exclusively through light railway stores.